jam. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Welcome, my friends. So glad you could join me. My name is Wonka. Today, we're going to be playing Car Mechanic Simulator 20. If you guys are still enjoying this, like, gotta be coming up on 100 episode series. If you want to hit that 100 mark, do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. And while you're down there, why not leave your suggestion for rim tire paint, any customizations you can think of for the vehicle we do today. And without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy. And I think you will. So, speaking of customization, um, slithering. I'm a fucking serpent tongue. So, speaking of customizations, don't think I forgot about our Dodge Viper. We're gonna be taking that in just to the paint shop real quick. It's it's close. It's just it's Christmas eyesed, if that makes any sense. Well, Christmas is long gone, and we don't want to be that person who leaves our lights on our house. So we're gonna just come in here as per the traveled comic suggestion and we're gonna get the black stripes instead of the red stripes because Christmas is dead to us now, all right? We're black inside. We're black striped inside. Um, so now it should look like a goddamn tuxedo. You roll up in this in like a white James Bond tuxedo with just a hint of black in it, damn. You gotta get those seats changed out, but damn. Can't have the red. The red. I mean, it looks all right, but if, if you're if you're going for that tuxedo rolling, the, you gotta change the seats. It's my only thing. But until we can uh, find a, an upholster or something, we're just gonna have to let it collect some dust. Now I got myself ready for this for this car mechanic episode. Watched a little bit of a uh, car show before I started recording. Watched um, All Girl Garage. Have you have you guys heard of it? Basically, they're like an all-girl band that finally had to grow up and get a job. And, uh, they work on cars now. And this, speaking of that, this is what we're working on. They worked on, like, a... What were they working on? A Chevelle? Some, some typical muscle car. But we're not working on something typical. This one is an inline-six. Dinka Jester. You dink. I'm sorry, that was mean. You're not, you're not a dink. But, uh, this... I feel like is a rather new addition to the Grand Theft Auto car universe. Um, give you one guess on what it what it resembles. You let me know down in the comments. I actually own this fun fact in Grand Theft Auto because uh, it's just one of those cars that just resembles such a legend that you kind of have to. We're going to be taking it out to the drag strip, see how fast we can get it because you know, Grand Theft Auto, you kind of got like a limit. You can't really go that fast unless you're modding or something. So that's why we've brought it to the car mechanic universe. So we could see what we could do to it. Now, there's probably some some bumpers and stuff, I would assume, because there is in Grand Theft Auto. Oh, yeah. We got some, uh, we got a few. There's a few aftermarket parts that we could choose from. Just a, just a couple or so. So we'll get into that later. We got a blank canvas right now. Is the is the is the is the is the is the material? Is the body 100% it is. So the only thing that needs to be fixed is the engine, suspension, wheels. Everything else interior body is pristine. Absolutely pristine. As with most Grand Theft Auto cars, someone probably bought it, took it out for a drive for about 10 seconds, took it off some stupid ramp or off-road or did something stupid blew the engine blew the suspension and everything we just got to replace that but the body's good thankfully they clearly avoided the cops and pedestrians that walk out into the road and the terrible ai driving did you know that google is basing or using that driving in grand theft auto to develop their ai driving cars think about that for a second if you've ever played grand theft auto i'll wait that could be a rumor. I could be spreading false lies, fake news. But um, what's not fake is how impeccable those hitboxes are. For the this looks like a lawsuit. This looks like a lawsuit for my shop. 
you know, at least the car is still on the lift. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the guy who's whose car I was referencing. That's it's very sad. I sorry I used it as humor. It wasn't even that funny, so can you be that mad? Maybe if it was funny they wouldn't be so mad. Oh boy, what have I done? So um yeah I guess we'll pop this engine out. I didn't see if there was yeah no so no swap options. Just gonna stick with our inline six here. I hope it's rear wheel drive. I believe it is. It's hard to tell because it's hiding. But here we go. Here's the drive shaft. It's definitely rear wheel drive. We're good. I don't think this in inline six can be. Well, I guess it's if it's a modded car, they could do whatever they want. It's time to take out this GTA engine. You ever you ever wondered what was in those things? Well, for those of you that go to the little car meets and pop your hoods and and think you know, I truly know. All right. How's this for popping the hood? What do you mean? Really? I gotta take the manifolds off and everything? This engine is the pickiest little son of a bitch I have ever seen in my entire life. Also, the auction was broken as hell for me. I don't know what was going on. Every time the... The enemy would vote, or not vote, would bid. Every time my enemy would bid. Because that's what they are when they're bidding against me. They are my arch rivals and nemesis. Um, the, the game would lag like crazy, and there was a couple times where I was trying to click the button, but it wouldn't click, and then it went green, saying that I did bid, but it was kind of, like, too late at the same time, I guess, and it didn't really give me the option on where to put the vehicle, so we missed out on a couple of good vehicles. Not that this isn't a good vehicle. I think we still, you know, I stuck with it, made sure we still got a good one, but, uh, guess you'll have to live in what could have been. Blame the terrible auction. There's there's been some things lately that are causing this game to lag. If you if you notice, I'm actually down on medium settings right now. Even though the game recommends me playing on high when you benchmark, um, it do, it doesn't work lately. Some some stuff is starting to slowly break, slowly but surely. Who's Shirley? All right, that's a clean bay right there. We can uh, get underneath. Deal with all of this bull crap down here. How's the back look? Is it complicated? Of course it is. Of course it's one of the ones with a thousand pieces. Why wouldn't it be? I mean... I'm excited though. I, I need to check if uh, the the map that we're going to later exists. Alright, it appears, it appears to be there. I've learned something though. I, I don't think there's engine in this thing. Did I say... Hold on. Did I say there's no engine in this thing? Oil in the engine. What am I saying? You know, it's funny how people will, like, call you out, too, on saying things like that. I just leave it in for fun. Because I'm an idiot. And I like people to know it, you know? I'm not, I'm not ashamed. There was no oil in the daily. Makes a lot of sense, right? Because we drive it daily and there's no oil in it. It burns a little bit of oil, I guess? I don't know. We got exposed, girl. They now know you're not a true daily. You're just a garage queen. I'm sorry. I failed you. I wonder if there's liveries on this thing. If not, I already know what color. The liveries, if there are them, if there are some, might change that. But if not, I already know what color I want to do this right now. Just looking at it right here, I can envision it. Just think really hard and you can see it too. But you can still leave your suggestion on what color you want to see.
feel like I'm working on a damn Lego car or something. There's like a million pieces to the rear end, a million aftermarket pieces, a million fucking toys not included. Like, goddamn, I thought Christmas was over. I just realized something. This is our first car mechanic simulator build of 2019. The game is officially out of date. Car mechanic simulator 2018. It's a new year. What are you doing? New year, new universe of cars. However, don't expect more of these because it seems like most modders don't enjoy doing Grand Theft Auto cars. So, uh, yeah, rip that. Cool if we could choose what color the aftermarket parts were, like if you wanted maybe a purple or a blue instead of the red, like not that the whole part would be purple, just wherever these reds are, it'd be cool if you could choose what color that accent would be. Just a thought, might be an easy little thing to add for a customization and uh, people would probably enjoy it because not everybody's car necessarily fits with a red engine bay. Same. And sometimes people like to be a little bit different. And I'm definitely one of them. I just see that's how different I am. I like to put my engine in, pull it out, put it back in. Kind of like how a dog does like two circles before it lays down kind of thing. It's like that. You know, it's weird, but trust me, it's efficient and it works wonders. It's kind of like my good luck charm, so to speak. Um, never had an engine not... St that's a lie. Um, never had an engine... F uh, n never it works okay just just enjoy the fact that you're getting a nice slow rendition of me putting together now that's probably not enjoyable is it alright let's go back to the fast version
All right, it's the first one of the year. I'm bound to forget something. All right, it's it's not it's not like it's a part that I've forgotten before. All right, it's a, it's a first time for everything, you know. Forgot to do the wheels and the suspensions. Not a big deal. At least I'm on top of not putting in crappy parts, you know what I mean? Just nice shiny parts. Titanium. Now I realize there's actually a reason. No, this this is a lie. This isn't actually a reason. Hold on, let me paint the wheel first. Just in case we actually keep it. In case I got the size the very first try. But I realize we kind of got to size out the wheels because we're going to be putting some aftermarket parts on the car. And uh, the wheels might not be the best fitment. And they have to be. It's a very, very important thing to me. Where, where do we start? That's the, that's the big question here. All right, let's start with the front. We got hood options. We got fender options. We got bumper options. And of course, so we have headlight options. It's basically a whole front clip. So as far as fender options go, I believe they're going to be like wide body type options, as you can see here kind of wide bodies at the back uh, kind of hard to tell if it's wider at the front or not option C which uh, just maybe throws like a little mud flap on the back or something here personally I'm kind of a sucker these days for wide body even though it's getting a little bit overdone especially the riveted ones you know when you gotta mold it now these days it's all about the molded kits but um, I'm gonna go with the wide body because I like it. I like them. I like them thick, you know, and we get the hood options. We have like, I mean, all different kinds. I'm not going to go through them all. I kind of want to go carbon, which obviously limits our options a little bit. And I don't think I want to go this drastic. Although, you know what? That looks pretty good. We hardly ever go carbon. So I'm definitely going to go with that. As always, if you disagree with any of these and you want to pick your own style, feel free. I'm going to be going with eyelids on the t headlights here and a, definitely the full eyelid. I don't know what this half eyelid thing is, but I'm not feeling it. And I'm not really a fan of, of whatever the hell this little alien bug eyed thing that people are kind of doing sometimes. We have um, definitely got some options when it comes <laughs> to front bumpers, which change everything from the lower grill, the upper grill, as you can see here. This is kind of an all right little little front end. I'm not a huge fan of the grill in person, but it's an all right little front end there. I like it. Um, personally, I like the ones that are a little bit longer, a little bit lower to the ground. Maybe this one doesn't even seem to have a grill. Huh, I guess the car is not supposed to have a grill now that I see it. That's weird that that one does have a grill, an upper grill. I personally like ones where there's a big old intercooler on the front as well. I think those look pretty good usually. I don't know what's going on up in here. It's kind of different. If you didn't notice, our mirrors are actually carbon fiber. Those are the only option. We don't get to change those or anything, but that's a, that's a thing. Um, now the trunk, we don't have taillight options, but we do have, that said taillight, but we do have different muffler options, bumper options, and of course, got to have a couple of little wang options. Um, as far as the bumper goes, I kind of want to go once again with the carbon fiber because I think carbon fibers are kind of cool and they're not as, as overdone as a lot of things. Um, now the wangs get bigger and bigger as they go down. I think I'm going to go with the biggest one this time because I never get big wangs and this one is the kind of car I think that deserves one. Maybe not though. You let me know. If you think I'm an idiot, feel free. Type it. We got all kinds of different options here. I kind of want the single cannon. I'm a f I'm a fan of single tailpipes versus dual. Um, unless you know the car performs better with dual tailpipes, then I'll I'm all for that, obviously. But if it can, I prefer the look of a single tailpipe, and uh, that's it, I believe. There was actually one more option, but I have no idea. Oh, we can get some side skirts going. It's not what I was trying to do, but that's kind of cool that I stumbled across that. I would have, I would have completely missed that. There you go, a little window replacement with a side skirt, and I believe it's carbon fiber. Of course it is. There's also a roof 
Uh, scoop, but I'm not 100% sure how to... Oh, it's right here, if you're wondering. Window front two. Oh, okay, it's a replacement for this. I figured it out. See how good it... See how good I am at detectiving everyone? There we go, we get a little roof scoop going. Why not? This thing's already, like, riced the hell out. Race card the hell out, whatever you want to call it. Got a balance. Find your inner woosa. I should be looking at the balancer for this. Woosa. Um, oh, we found, we've aligned our inner chakras. All right, there's the last wheel. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Oh, wait, I kind of have to look a little bit. Don't look. We're not looking. We're going to just move it in to the paint shop. Not looking, not looking. Where are we looking? I don't know. But we're not looking. We're looking at the ceiling. That's where we're looking at. And we're going to paint it. Are there... Oh, no, we're looking. No! Oh, my eyes. My virgin eyes. All right, hopefully this is better. There we go. That's what I wanted it to look like. Mm. Orange Supra. Why does the bumper not line up? Uh, this bumper doesn't line up with the wide body fenders. <laughs> it's not even close. Like, look at it, it's getting worse. I don't think I tried B yet. But other than that, I've tried every single one. <gasps> like a glove. And this time, we're moving it into the dyno. So I didn't even notice, how's our wheel gap looking? Not good. Not good. We're gonna. The only way to fix that, though, is to get bigger wheels. So I guess we'll have to just do that. Probably have to put, like, 22s on it or something. I don't know. Those are 20-inch rims right there. And there's still that much wheel gap. Embarrassing. I'm embarrassed to even own this car. A rubber bushing is... Are you kidding me? So, we only had 154 horsepower to start. That's a yikes. But that sounds about right for most Grand Theft Auto vehicles. They're pretty slow. To be fair, I mean, it'd be a lot of tasking for a PlayStation to handle for them to be fast. 257 horsepower? Yikes. That's the best this thing can do? It's terrible. I hope it's just, like, weirdly fast. Because otherwise, I feel like I just wasted my time. I mean, I guess it looks kind of good-ish. All right-ish. It looks, um... It looks something. Well, let's see if this thing was even worth the time spent. Because, um... As of right now, I'm not too sure. Alright, I'm gonna go with a no. The wheel gap is terrible. The speed is t I put drag slicks on it. That's how much I was anticipating from this thing. We're just going for a nice leisurely cruise with our foot to the floor. Zero to 108.2 seconds. That stutter step didn't help us much. Can we hit 200? We hit 200. 33.9 seconds. This thing is a disappointment. It's not even worthy. We need to find something. What do we have that's stupid fast? I don't even remember. All right, we'll use this. Our um, over 1,000 horsepower Dodge Viper. I'm pretty sure this thing wasn't too crazy and out of control. So it should be perfect. So welcome to a little bit of a different drag strip uh, with some advertising on it. Richard, eat your heart out there, bud. We got employees on this one. That's how that's how you know this drag strip is legitimate. It looks long, that's because it is. And uh what do you think about it, bud? Well, you let me know. Let's see if he has a reaction. Now nope, he's seen it all. He's seen it all before. But um we're going to go for a speed test, see what kind of a top speed we can get out of this. Obviously, there's no measurements for 0 to 60, etc. on this specific track. This is a mod map from the modding community where you can just go for, I would assume, a fair bit. 
and really test your car's top speed. We're looking like 352 kilometers per hour, but I'm just kind of curious like how long it goes. I would assume it ends just up ahead of this building here, but that gives you quite reduced speed now. Nope, not gonna happen. Oh! Are you good? No, it wasn't, that wasn't too dramatic. Oh. It looks like this guy, uh, didn't reduce his speed either. That could have been you. But that's it, folks. If you guys enjoyed, you want to see more Car Mechanic Simulator in the future? Oh, no, not the Viper. Do me a favor, tickle that like button, leave me a comment down below. As always, if you're new here or you haven't already, be sure to punch your golden ticket by hitting that subscribe button. While you're down there, leave your suggestion for rim tire paint, anything you could think of for the Dinka Jester. And remember, keep your dirty dick beaters off my tools. Take her easy. Sure you hit that like button because if you guys hit the like button for me, lots of good things happen, okay? And we can grow and do giveaways and like subscribe and all that good stuff, okay? Take a easy. <laughs> meow, meow.